Uh, hello everybody. I've finally been able to get some good weather to actually do some vlogging here. Guess where I'm at? I am in Beckway on the beach walking through some of the most beautiful water I've ever seen in my life. Only have ever seen it in postcards. Normally from Miami. But I'm in Beckway with my cousins, my cousin's wife, a newfound Huggins cousin, and her husband, who is actually the sibling of my cousin's wife. <laughs> how small this island is and how small the world is. This is, I really haven't seen such beauty in my life since coming here. This is absolutely insane. I'm sure you could see some of it behind me. I'm taking a walk down the bridge. I'm sorry, down the beach. And it is just insanely pretty. There's boats in the water, catamarans and small yachts, birds, people snorkeling. And this is something my brother's been aggravating me to do. So, Mark, I'm here in Beckway, and you are not. And I hope that you are very, 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 very jealous right now. This wasn't planned. It was a seat of your pants moment. They decided to come out to Beckway and get a break. And they invited me to go with them. So, I said yes. Why not? Most of the week has been rained out, which is why I haven't been able to upload any content. And the internet speeds are not the best here. So it's also not the best for YouTubers, although they have the best uh, upload speeds for the whatever package they have. It took me a half an hour to upload a video before. One of the first videos I did, one of the driving videos. I have another one, but it's over 30 minutes. And <clears throat> I'm thinking the rest of the content is going to have to wait till I get back to the States. I'll be back in the States next Wednesday at night. And I'll have, my, have the full force of my Verizon files behind me. But uh, until that point, take a look at what I am able to see. Unfortunately, the gimbal I'm using won't balance my CPL for my phone, which is odd in itself because not many people know about the CPL that you can get for the Samsung uh, S22 Ultra, and it will work with other phones also. Um, I got it direct from eBay, from Samsung Korea, and this is one of the few times where you don't, in America, we don't have something that the rest of the world has. It's a kit that has a CPL filter and an eight times neural density filter to make your videos more cinematic. But since this is only a vlog, I'm not too worried about cinematic stuff. I don't care if the thing gets a little dark and then light as the phone automatically adjusts to the exposure. I'm not all about that life. I don't require that much perfectionism in a, in a vlog like this. <clears throat> You can get a good idea of what I'm seeing. The image quality is great. It's 4K. <laughs> Guess the rest of my time here. Once I get sh getting shot, sh once I'm done shooting this for the for this vlog that I'm doing, which I'm not really good at yet. This is only my second one. I will uh, 
put the gimbal away and take out the big camera and shoot some B-roll there with my Canon R5C. Once I learn how to do color grading on the big camera on my computer, which is about close to 10 years old, so we'll see how long it takes to do the video, which I'm, no, I'm in no hurry to do because I'm not a, this is my hobby, not my full-time job. Um, we'll see how it works. If I have to invest in a new computer, I will. But for right now, it can take as long as it takes because I'm in no hurry to upload videos from the computer. Making, using the phone has been very, very easy for me. There are people on YouTube right now that have over 100,000 subscribers and only use their cell phones. There are people that use, uh, that teach courses on cell phone filmmaking. Some of whom I, I subscribe to. The content is very interesting. But as of right now, <clears throat> I just don't have the time to do it. And if you're interested in knowing what gimbal I'm using, I'm using the, Home, the Hohem iSteady M6. When I get back to the States, I, I will have the Hohem MT2 waiting for me. So back then, I will be able to balance this phone plus my seat plus the CPL filter plus the Comica mic that I'm using to record the audio for this I'll be able to balance everything because I think that has a payload of about three pounds I might even be able to just do the uh, put a phone cage on there too put a, and put a shotgun microphone on there and not have to worry about the wireless microphone I'll just use the shotgun microphone like most other people do I have a couple of them. I think I, I can't remember the name of the company that I have the shotgun microphone for. But if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I have options. I have this Comica mic set, which is pretty good. I also have a, the larger Comica mic set for the full for the full size camera, just so I don't have to keep on taking stuff apart and put it together. I can just put together the mic for the camera and one one set for the phone, and not have to worry about breaking stuff down too much because that wastes time. Sometimes if you waste time, you don't make the shot that you want to make. So I can't believe how beautiful this beach is. We don't have anything like this in New York. Well, I'll be quiet now and you guys can just enjoy the scenery. Hopefully the phone doesn't overheat. Normally I get about 15 minutes to 20 minutes before the phone overheats. But considering that there is a breeze, I don't. I think I might be able to get a half hour of recording before the phone gives up the ghost for about 15 minutes till it cools off. Enjoy the scenery. Hopefully I'll have more content to post up soon.
Here's a little public service announcement for those of you who watch, who are watching now and who may watch in the future who are not aware of this. This fruit looks like it's called machineal fruit. It's poisonous. The leaves of this tree and the fruit may irritate skin and eyes. Avoid the tree when it is wet. So let me show you what the fruit looks like. Those little green fruits on the, on the ground here. If you see them, don't touch them. They will irritate your skin and eyes. And I hear it's something, it's something really, really bad, so I wouldn't do it. And this is what the tree leaves look like. That's the leaves of the tree. And let me see if I can't zoom back out so you can see the entire tree. And that is the machineal, the machineal tree. So don't touch the fruit and don't touch the leaves when it is wet. Otherwise you'll get a nasty, nasty surprise. And I'm sure we don't need any more of that in today's world. All right, I think the vlog is done for today. This is some signing off from beautiful Beckway. And I'm gonna shoot some B-roll with my big camera now. Enjoy your day.